Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm kneeling down, that's why I look so small. But today I have done Robin's full glam. This is like the most makeup I've ever put on someone ever. <laughs> um, yeah, I just wanted to do really full glam makeup and record it for this video. Um, so I hope you enjoy this step by step and keep watching if you want to see how I got this look. I'm using the Inglot brow products that I used in my last video. So what I do with Alvin's brows <laughs> is I just do like the underside of them and then bring it up into it. So I'll brush them up when I'm doing the underside and then I'll brush them down when I'm doing the top. So this is why I do the forehead first so that you can do the brows and stuff. So I'm just going to do the same for the other brow before I conceal. We're back in business. I'm going to start with a dark blue and put it in the crease <coughs> and then diffuse it with a lighter blue and then I'll work on like a whole detailing after. So. We're using the Stacey Marie in Mue. I'm using the shade Mood because Is it's a mood. mood. That is mood. <clears throat> mm. And I'm using the Inglot 48 Double S. <coughs> Inglot. And then I'm going to switch over to a smaller brush for the inner corner. Okay! Okay! Put your chin up. Your tiara is full. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is take the colour Sky. Still keeping it quite low, but just sort of wiggling. So we're not worrying about blending it at the minute, it's just the colour payoff. Not forgetting about out here because we haven't done the face makeup yet, so this would be easily cleaned up if you want to take it right the way down. And then I'm going to take, do the same in the other eye and then take a smaller brush to put the colour on the inner. I'm all done guys. So then I'm going to go back in with the darker one and just bring it a bit lower. So now I'm going to attempt to blend this. And then I'm going to take clean brush and some translucent powder and just use this 
here just before I clean it up to make sure that it's all blended. So if you put like translucent powder over your eyeshadow, it doesn't change the colour of it, it just diffuses it. Now, I think what I'm going to do is put a crease. She's going to use it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use shade 1 in the concealer. Just because I want it to be as popping. Just look down. Okay, so I've just set it with the same eyeshadow that I set the lid with and I'm going to go in with the lighter shade from the Stacey Marie palette. And then I'm going to go into Breezy. Oh, this one. Okay, so now I'm going to take the dark colour that we used first of all and start blending it um, at the very outer corner just so that it's going to start blending in and I'm going to use like a really small pencil brush for this. And then using a lighter hand, the more we go in. And then last but not least, for the top of the eyes, I'm going to take the colour that we used, Sky, to blend out the darker blue. Right here, just to diffuse it a bit. So I'm just kind of trying to get it off the lower lash line so that it's not going to get in the way with our concealer or anything and then following that line and then I'm going to diffuse this colour once I've got the powders done so that it's not like a harsh line. I'm going to move on and use the same foundation. I used the Maybelline Fit Me in shade 100. I mixed it with the LA Girl tan one in the shade um, bronze. So for foundation, I always do it kind of darker on the forehead because it means when you're bronzing you're not going to have to use as much bronzer because you already got the colour that you want. And I focus this and in between the brows when I come to concealer. And then I'm just going to take the excess on the forehead just in case I've lent on it anywhere. I'm going to mix shade 3 and shade 1 of the collection. Three. And we're keeping it quite low just so that 
we're not left with too much product right near the eyeshadow. But because we've built the foundation coverage so much, that's really all the places that we need to consider. I'm going to use, this is number 5 BH Cosmetics. It's my Wewe collection. It's my Wewe. But it's just really small and tapered. And then I'm just going to powder this using the Real Techniques contour brush and I must say that because the base is so full coverage I don't really want to bake or anything. And then I'm going to start with the under eye, so I'm going to take the dark colour mood. Go. Just pack that under. Translucent powder under, just because I don't want to risk falling on the face. I'm going to take the really light shade that we already took and just put it on the inner, very inner corner on a really small brush. Like so, and then just blend in the blue colour with it again. So last but not least for the eyes before lashes I'm going to just put black liner in the waterline. So I'm going to take the Inglot number 77 and some Duraline. So I just put like a drop of Duraline on the back of a palette and then mix the eyeliner that's on the brush. Okay, so I have just smoked out the black liner underneath and applied some lashes. So now I'm going to quickly move on to bronzer because my camera's going to die. So yeah, I'm going to use the Inglot bronzer in... I'm actually not sure. It's the same as my last video. Ok, 
Okay, and then blush. The same blush as always. And then I'm going to use the Sub Zero palette to highlight and use the Real Techniques setting brush. So I'm going to use a strip down lip liner. Of colors, super natural liquid lip. And then I'm going to take Anastasia Naked Liquid Lip on top. And last but not least, just for a tiny bit more definition, I'm going to take cork liner, just on the very perimeter. And then I'm going to take the Peaches and Cream Gloss in the shade Sisterhood. Because Aww. you're my sister. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. So this is the finished look. That is the end of the transformation video. Thanks so much for watching and comment below as always any other videos that you'd like to see. So bye from us. Peace. Mwah. Mm. That's for my haters.